an essential part of any physical examination is range of motion. Let's demonstrate active range of motion for the thoracolumbar spine with our client Yoshiko here and we're going to show first sagittal plane flexion then extension then we'll show frontal plane left lateral flexion right lateral flexion then we'll show transverse plane left rotation right rotation so since we're looking for thoracolumbar motion it's important that the client does not move from their hip joints or any other joints in the lower extremity so it's important for you to stabilize their pelvis so Yoshiko I'm going to hold you right here and I'd like you to bend forward into flexion the unhealthy way keeping your knees straight and Yoshiko used to dance quite a bit so she's quite flexible here come on back up to neutral and it's typically stated that ideal would be 85 degrees and she has that plus some. Now for sagittal plane extension, again I'll stabilize you here, bring your upper body, your trunk back toward me and back to neutral and you can try it again, go a little more even for the upper trunk, there we go and back to neutral. Ideal is 40 degrees of extension and she certainly has that. So now let's show the frontal plane. So Yoshiko, can you turn to the camera? Okay, perfect. And we're going to do first the left side, then the right side. And I'm going to ask you to side bend, left laterally flex. And I want you to run your fingers along the outside of your lower extremity, and I can stabilize your pelvis. And we are looking for about 45 degrees. And we can also look to have the fingers give us an indication for symmetry. There she is, left laterally flexing. Now do the same thing to the right side. Go ahead and here she is right laterally flexing and we certainly back to neutral we certainly want symmetry above and beyond having the ideal 45 degrees of each lateral flexion and now we'll look for transverse plane rotations first we'll show to the left then to the right can you put your hands crossed in front so it's easier for the camera to see your trunk here so again it's important to stabilize the pelvis especially with rotations or the client will rotate from the hip and subtalar joints so i'm going to hold you here and now just twist rotate your upper body to the left and we're looking for 35 degrees as an ideal amount of left rotation and back to neutral and now rotate twist to the right and again 35 degrees to the right back to neutral posture so that's active range of motion, physical examination for sagittal plane flexion extension, frontal plane left lateral flexion, right lateral flexion, and transverse plane left rotation, right rotation for the thoracolumbar spine.